What's going on guys? You ever find yourself with just a lens cap? Well, try this. Now you got yourself a full lens. It's called the lens clap. 50 millimeter, this is six reasons why you need one. So this right here is the first lens I ever bought. It's the Canon 50 millimeter F 1.8. It's tiny, but it's incredibly powerful and it's gonna add a ton to your camera bag. And today I wanna to go over six reasons why you need a 50 millimeter for yourself. The first reason that you need a 50 millimeter lens in your life is size. The Canon 50 millimeter F1.8 is tiny. I mean, this thing is fantastic for travel. It really is one of the smallest lenses that I have. It weighs only 4.6 ounces. I did another review on the Canon 28 millimeter a few weeks back that lens weighs over double the size of this 50 millimeter. The 28 millimeter weighs in at 10.8 ounces, and the Canon 24 to 105 L lens weighs five times as much at 23.6 ounces. So the 50 millimeter is really, really small, and it's super easy to carry around. The Nifty 50 is one of the smallest lenses that you're gonna find, making it incredibly easy to add to your camera bag. The second reason you need a 50 millimeter in your life, bokeh. This Nifty 50 has seven aperture blades. Now, aperture blades are gonna give you different shapes in your bokeh in the background of your shots. Cheaper lenses will have four to five aperture blades. That's gonna give you a more pentagonal looking bokeh. The seven aperture blades, you're gonna to start to get that really nice circle. Sure, the Nifty 50 is small, but you're gonna have that beautiful circular bokeh in the background of your portraits, in the background of your videos, and this is another reason why you gotta have that 50 millimeter. The third reason you need a 50 millimeter lens in your life, shooting in low light. This Nifty 50 opens to f1.8, which is gonna allow a ton of light into your sensor and exposing your shot. Most kit lenses are in a range of f3.5 to 5.6, which is letting in not even half the light that a lens at f1.8 is gonna allow to hit your sensor. So you can start to get some beautiful portraits, some beautiful video in dark places. So this lens makes a huge difference in your low light shooting. Because the Nifty 50 can open to f1.8, it's considered a fast lens, which means you can really crank your shutter speed to adjust for your exposure. When you're open to f1.8, again, you're letting in all of that light so you can have a very fast shutter. You can take quick photos. You don't need a ton of time to expose your shots. What this means is you can stop motion. This is great for sports. This is great for action. This is great for any of those shots where you wanna basically stop motion and get a crisp photo without blurriness wherever the action of the photo is. And it's gonna allow you to have those high shutter shots when you're shooting video too, which gives you that quick sort of action packed look that you'll see in something like Saving Private Ryan or Gladiator. The fourth reason that you need a 50 millimeter lens is depth of field. Opening up to f1.8 is gonna give you that shallow depth of field for those cinematic looks that we all love. It's perfect for your portrait photos. It's perfect for your video interviews. You can see right now that I've got myself in focus and the background is nicely out of focus. And this is shooting at about f2.28. You can open that even more to f1.8 with the Nifty 50 and your background's gonna be even more out of focus, which really separates your subject from your background, gives a gorgeous look. The fifth reason you need a 50 millimeter lens, focal length. 50 millimeters is right in the middle of the focal spectrum. It's not wide, it's not telephoto, it's smack dab in the middle and it can do it all. It's considered normal. It's considered the field of view that your eye sees when it looks around. So if we take three photos, we have a 50 millimeter, we have a wide angle lens and we have a telephoto lens. You'll see that the subject is closest to what your eye would normally see if you were walking around with the 50 millimeter lens. The telephoto does some different effects to it, whereas the 20 millimeter does some different effects to it. They have their various distortions. The 50 millimeter is smack dab in the middle and it is that normal focal length. The 50 millimeter is also gonna force you to be creative and move around with your shot. It's not too telephoto, it's not too long, but it's not too wide either. It's just what you need. So you can get your landscape photos, you can also get your close-up shots. It does it all, it's the perfect focal length. Here's a quick tip. Flip your 50 millimeter lens around on your camera to get some macro shots. Very, very, uh, very, very fun little one here. 
Number six reason to get a 50 millimeter lens, and this is maybe the most enticing, it's affordable. The Canon 50 millimeter F 1.8 comes in at only $125, which is super affordable for cameras, or super affordable for lenses, I should say. It's, it's really a great starting point for a starter lens, and honestly, a lens that you'll use throughout. Like I said before, I've had this lens since the very beginning. It was the first lens that I purchased, and I still use it today. It's one of my most used lenses. It just can do everything that you could want. Now, there are a few tiers of 50 millimeter lenses. If you want to go higher, you can get the Canon 50 millimeter F 1.4 for about $400. You can also get the Canon 50 millimeter F 1.2 L lens for $1,349, which is way more expensive than the F 1.8. And that's gonna give you, of course, a higher quality of glass. It's gonna give you you know, that extra stop of light. And these are critical differences, but I'm telling you that F 1.8 is really, really nice. And it is certainly, certainly worth the $125, if not more. So an incredibly affordable lens that you could get today and start making a huge difference in the way that your photos and your videos are looking. So overall, I think a 50 millimeter lens is a critical part of any filmmaker or photographer's camera bag. Don't be fooled by its small size and relatively cheap price. It will become one of your most used lenses, I guarantee it. So thanks everyone for watching. I post videos every Wednesday at 10 a.m. with the goal of helping you become a better filmmaker and photographer. Go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed, like the video, and we'll check you back in the next one.